Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to do an interesting army composition. We're raiding in champions and we're going to use barbarians, archers, hog riders, and minions. We're going to call it Hog Bam. So it's pretty much a Bam army with eight hog riders, around eight. I don't do exact numbers, I just do one barrack barbarian, three barrack archers, one barrack minions, one barrack hogs, and it just sort of comes out to about this. In the spell factory, I do all lightning spells because really, this is just a barb and archer raid, and we still want to take out mortars. The hogs we have are also going to help us take out a second mortar, so they're going to be super helpful in this army composition. There we go, zapping one mortar on the left side. We're going to take out the one on the right side with the hog riders. That's also going to help us lure the clan castle if there is any troops in there. Then we can get them out to the corner and safely take them out. We're going to start on the right side. We're going to raid those storages first as one storage is pretty easy on each side and the other one is a little tougher. Minions are going to help a lot to get those deeper storages as we'll see soon. So let's check and make sure this is all that's in that clan castle. It does look like that's it. About 10 troops, no wizards, nothing crazy, so we will get them out to the corner. It's really convenient that we were able to take out that mortar because now it's not going to bomb us when we start to go into the base. That is the biggest enemy of barbs and archers is mortars. Of course, wizard towers are as well, but mortars with that long range, you really want to take them out if possible. Now the clan castle is taken out, we're going to clear some buildings, and then we're going to get started on the top right here. We're going to clear some buildings on the top point there, and then just go in for this storage. This one storage is pretty easy, and this is the kind of base I look for when I'm barching in Masters League or Champions League. I want at least some storages to be easy, and I would recommend this. You guys will find this in, in Masters League or even Crystals League sometimes. At least some of the storages will be easy. So here's the harder storage. We want to use the minions for that. So I'm going to throw a few down to check for air bombs and then throw all the rest of them. Even though they're getting targeted by a lot of defenses, it doesn't matter. In a big group like that with 10 or 20 minions, you can't stop them unless you have an inferno, an air bomb, or sometimes a, a high level wizard tower. But we got that storage just fine, just in time. We've already got two down. We're moving over to the third side. This one should be easy. We've got a bunch of archers left and a clan castle. We're going to drop that. That's going to take it out just fine. For the last storage, we have a max barb king and archer queen. We won't need the spells, although we do have two more. We're just going to run down the side here, and hopefully the archer queen will reach into the base and grab that last storage. Barb king is going to continue outside, getting us quite a bit more loot. These uh, mines and pumps have a little bit in them still. So this was all in all a really awesome loot raid. I mean, look at this. We've got almost 400,000 gold, a decent elixir, and then with the champion's bonus of 180,000 of each resource, we've got well over a million, uh, half a million gold. So really awesome raid. I was psyched on that. That's a two spell raid with an army that took about 20 minutes. I think it's just just around right around 20 and uh, we're in Champions League we're attacking somebody in Master 1 so basically the same thing and then one of the most important aspects of this army for me is that it's fun I have a lot of fun using this it's just four troops Barb, Archer, Minion, Hog and they're just fun so here we are getting into the second raid I've lured out the clan castle and I'm gonna do a trick where you just get the troops on top of a mortar and then you lightning that mortar. Really all I care about is those wizards. I want to get those wizards that are in the back on top of that mortar because wizards can be a pain. They would have devastated my hogs if I hadn't lured them. Wizards kill hogs so fast so it's good that I was able to do that. It makes that lightning spell so much more worth it because I was able to do two things with those two lightning spells. So here we go. We got them out. We're going to kill that clan castle. Then we're going to get in and get this one storage. It's actually pretty tricky to get. This one storage up above me here is pretty deep in. It's like behind one layer of everything and plus it's behind a wall. I have to clear basically everything around here in order to get minions to go in there and get it. Nevertheless, I do have enough minions to do this. I have 14 and I think that will be plenty to get that storage. Once I clear everything, I'm going to drop some hogs to help out because my archers are getting pounded on here. And now we're ready. We're gonna drop one or two minions to check for traps. 
Then we're going to drop all of them. Now that we know there's no traps, we can drop them all. And look at that. A group of minions, even though they're getting shot at, they've got this. You don't have to worry about air defenses with minions because air defense is so slow shooting. They just don't really care. <laughs> the biggest problem is infernos and wizard towers. So here we've got an easy storage, but the barb king is guarding it. He's going to take up a little time while we kill him, but not too bad. Archer queen would have been way worse, and we'll get to her on the other side. So there we go. I'm going to drop one hog to distract that mortar and let the archers go to work on that storage. They took it out just fine. And now we are rounding the corner to the third and fourth storage. This is going to be tricky because as you see, I don't have many troops left. I should have saved more barbs and archers, but I did not. And I have six hogs, a clan castle, and an archer queen. So let's see what we can do with those troops. I'm going to clear the sides here. It's always good to clear the corners. And now it's so easy to clear an army camp. They have like no health. You can even lightning an army camp. So they're pretty weak. Let's drop the Arch Queen, get things going, and then I gotta get these hogs down just at the right time to kind of distract the Archer Queen. It's gonna be what I'm gonna try to do because if his Archer Queen hits my Archer Queen, I don't wanna get in a battle with his Archer Queen because they can kill each other pretty fast. Now, my AQ is in the right spot, but she's not targeting the gold, she's targeting the Dark Elixir. Dark Elixir storage is really heavy storage, it takes a while to get through. So I don't think she's going to get through it in time. Anyway, she would have died beating on that wall there. So not a great raid in terms of percentage. I only got 39%, but then again, I'm farming. I usually win a couple raids and then lose one, and I don't mind that. I don't mind at all, because this is a quick army. As long as I get above, like, uh, around 150,000 gold or elixir or some dark elixir, that's good for me. So all in all, a great few raids. I'm very happy with them. I've gotten several million today using this army and i'm going to continue using it in the future and i hope you guys too definitely try it out guys it's a lot of fun all right guys that's it for today drop me a like a comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next time on beaker's lab peace